we just learned that there's springs underneath this whole complex. Steam tunnels that connect all of the buildings. That's great, so we have this natural source of energy like permeating up everywhere under the buildings. Right. Well, this W building is the most active one, which is why we wanted you to set up here and see if you can get anything. And one of the most active floors. It's the oldest building, has the most hauntings in it, people here screaming up here. If something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen here. It's gonna happen yeah. here. David has come up with an idea to allow us to better visualize if a portal opening is occurring here. And we've got a couple of high-powered lasers over here. We're gonna bombard the room with laser beams and create a grid. And then additionally, we're going to add some smoke into it, let the smoke settle, and we're gonna look for movement in the smoke, phantom movement, which is associated with portal formation. One of the things we wanna do is try to document that. We've checked the building, we've sealed it up here, there's like no wind drafts. So if something walks through here, we'll be able to see it in the laser grid and we'll see disturbances in the smoke as well. Does that mean that there's portal activity? That is a good sign that we have portal formation. With David's experiment, we're hoping to find out if there is indeed a portal at the Warfield complex. And if so, whether the tormented souls of those who died here have been able to use it to reach the afterlife or come back to haunt this place. So what I want you guys to look for with the laser grid tonight is not necessarily a man size apparition that walks through here. We're looking at the individual lights that are printing on me. We're looking for one or two of them even to just go out. So kind of keep your eyes scanning those dots. With the smoke, we're looking for isolated areas of movement. So let's, let's fire it up. Portals can visibly manifest in the most subtle of ways and can release entities devoid of human forms in the blink of an eye. The laser beams enable us to locate these entities no matter how small or quick they are. If you notice what the laser's starting to do, you're seeing the beams light up the smoke. Now, if it's portal formation, people be popping exactly into one right. place and out of another, right? That's exactly right. What we want to do is, when we look at this, you're looking for a blocking of matter or a blocking of photons or a movement of matter. What happens though when you have the combination of the smoke and the lasers is it broadens the whole area of beams so that you can literally see someone break a beam or you can see the dots disappear. Just like, so like out of sorts. <laughs> I don't, I, 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 I feel like this room is just using my body as a raggedy and doll. We know from the stuff that we learned, like there's a human component to the, right. to the portals. Absolutely. My body is just all over the map, and I feel like, ah, ah, f ow. F you all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I just felt like a hot burn on my back. Uh-oh. I definitely felt something, man. It was like hot. It was just a hot Is, is this burn. area it? Yes. Yeah, there's a mark there. It didn't break the skin, but it's definitely a, a mild abrasion. Since you got up. So since I got up here, I've been feeling weird and just like aggro and dizzy and like, just like I have to get out of here and sweaty. And then all of a sudden it was just like this like energy. It was just like mounting in me. And then, and then that's when I felt the, the sort of like the hot needle go right. into my back. And then it went into even more. It was like, I felt it. And then it really went for it. That was intense. That was really intense. No, I think now is the perfect time to All right, do we'll what we it. do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>